Hello, welcome to SF Arcade. I am Dave and I am playing Bookwalker Thieves and Tales. It is a weird game, but fuck it, why not? Okay, as per the last time I was playing, this is a book called Black River Drifters. It's a science fiction book about people that are working to become the the worthy. It's kind of a combination of Arthurian legend and it's hard science fiction, so bear with me here. It's uh, an odd pairing, but at the same time, kind of a cool layout. I, I do like the design of, of all the, you know, the decks and, and uh, the technology that's in, inside the, the actual book itself. Uh, I'm going to have to do some recollection though, because I can't remember what the fuck I was doing. Okay. A and B. Got some prayers and 42. Okay. Number 42. I wonder how that came about. <coughs> Douglas Adams. Right, yeah. So, um, not all the people in the round table room have a problem, but those who are still alive definitely have problems. One's on fire, one's overheating, and one is having a heart attack. So I've got to go out of my way to make sure that they are alive in some fashion. All right, so let's take a look here. Gonna go in the bathroom and creep out some people. And I have an access card. Excellent. And some toilets. Not really my favorite. Okay. You could boom. You know about Otherland? Do I, I? I have those novels. I've read them several times. Um, I I agree though. So Otherland was a series that started in 1996, and it, uh, in a lot of ways, was extremely prophetic about about the society we have now. The obsession with with virtual reality. Uh, basically uh, modern social media the way that how in insane the TikTok is and all the all the identities and shit like that like this this is I, I couldn't believe it going back and looking at it again because I started reading again within the last year or two hey TK um, anyways yeah um, the guy that wrote the Otherland series, and if you haven't read them, seriously, I swear to God, please look them up. They are insanely prophetic, and it's supposed to take place in 2080, I believe, not not 2023. But a lot of the stuff that that is marked upon in terms of um, social media and the technological, you know, the, the advancement of today is <laughs> it's kind of creepy. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, blonde. Uh, okay, so where am I going now? Is Dev too busy being pegged by Naomi to make any real busy during the streams? He is writing. Yeah, he actually asked me to stream tonight so he can do some more writing. And thankfully, I was able to uh, pull my head out of my recovery room. I went for a walk and it was, uh, I was breaking my new shoes and it was not great. <laughs> I'm not in great shape to begin with, but I went outside and I went for a decent walk in shoes that have still not been broken in, so I, my legs are extremely sore. But that doesn't stop me from streaming, so. Why is he writing? Hello, being pegged by Naomi? I don't know, probably. Dude, I'm not his coach. I'm not his, I'm not his minder. Okay. Rags, space multi tool, fire extinguisher. Um, wasn't there something upstairs, I think, that was catching fire? I think. Bear with me here. I do not recall exactly. Uh, okay, the library was. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. The guy in the round table room. 
He was he was on fire. Yeah, there we go. Whoosh. The man inside shows no sign of life, just like the equipment surrounding the capsule. The flask of faith was filled up before the fire is almost unscathed. You take from the from the compartment. Well, it's a miracle. It's intact. Uh, yeah, no shit. In the rice fields. <laughs> what the fuck? What's wrong with you? Prayers carved in the wall in Gothic scripts. May strength fill the part of my body that you require most of all, oh worthy. Okay, I should be easy to remember, I'll write it down. Holy Spirit prayer. Alright. Flask of faith. Okay. Um that while they has heard your prayer, I will give you the answer soon. If the worldly only talks to you, why can't I hear the answer straight from them? You ask the wrong questions, Acolyte. You must ask why you are not yet worthy of a direct conversation with the worthy. Worthy of the worthy. Does the author know what the tautology is? In any case, I specifically was created in this specific image of the worthy, and therefore I receive signals from them. You created? I thought you were human. The worthy has declared their will. You may activate the device. Thank you, O worthy. Warning, insufficient en 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 energy, limited functionality available. Uh, fine, armory. Any thoughts on Bill C. Tans basically made it that Canadians can't hear Canadian news media, media articles on social media? You know, there's... It seems like, a lot, like there's a lot of gray area shit around that, so I, I'm going to have to wait and see. I, I don't really get my my news my canadian news from social media anyways i get it from the websites from the actual you know like ctv or cbc websites so <laughs> and even then it's ugh. i start local i don't mind local national stuff not so great it's kind of uh, you know propaganda not good not good Side of the massive, massive cannon, you see a control panel. Inside a decorative metal frame with a floral motif. Does it turn on? Maybe it runs on faith, too. No, ah, of course. Alright. So just a huge ass gun. It's fucking fantastic. Social media is how a lot of news stories go viral. Yeah, true, but it's also where they can be taken out of context, so I, I don't know yet. I can say this much, I don't trust the government we have right now. I, I've never trusted them. I've never voted, well, let's see. That's not true. That's not true at all. I voted for the party once, and it was someone that, it was a long time ago, and it was someone that I thought would actually, um, you know, have a chance. But I did not vote for Trudeau. I would never vote for those fuckers. No, no, I did not. I did not vote for Trudeau. And the voices of the disciples will resound along the Black River from shore to shore, from sword to mouth. Let's write that down. Call it the voice prayer. That's lovely. Lasers. Freaking laser beams on their heads. 2011. Um, whenever, whenever Ignatieff went, I think it was 2011. Uh, let's see. A kitchen compartment is receiving the required amount of energy. Access granted. It's funny. That looks like there's a lot more, and I, I get nothing but stale bread and apples. Thank you, Russia. Huge metal door, frozen shut at floor level. That looks like a freezer. Open the cold handle with all your strength. No results. Yeah, it's not going to work. Maybe there's a knife somewhere in the kitchen? A knife? Are you joking? I'm gonna sledgehammer on a chisel to break this ice. Or an ice pick. 
Sure, you know, there must be an iceberg around here, right? For all the space ice climbing they do. That's not what iceberg is used for, but whatever. It doesn't have to be an actual ice pick, but there must be some kind of similar tool here. I don't see anything in that text. Maybe you should ask your neighbor. I think my neighbors all hate me now, but I'll try. All right. Ignatius 2011. All right, fine. I voted for Ignatius. There you go. I wasn't lying when I, when I, 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 had, I had said before, I voted for the main three political parties in Canada. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's that? It's Etienne. Who? Etienne, your neighbor. I see. Looking for a pickaxe. You happen to have one. A pickaxe. What the hell's going on in your apartment? I got this new mining job. I found the job as a man. Today's my first day. They told us to bring our own pickaxes, but they seem to have them lost in mine. Do you have to have a spare? Well, or not, it's not waving all family falls on that one. Oh my, a miner! What wonderful news! It's about time you came to our senses and stopped all that scribbling. I'll hold up in there. Let me go look. Here, just remember to bring it back. Thank you. Hey, Titanium, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing well, too. I have a pickaxe. Ah, uh, yay. I go. Yeah, that's right. I've seen too much. I can't afford to make a new party. You need a lot of money to do stuff in the okay, game politics. It's insane. I mean, just to run in general, I think you need like at least 40 grand. And that's going without, you know, all the, all the, all the, um, All the advertising. Ah, oh, fine. Uh, all right, measured. I'm not bad. Okay, so I had got ice. Why do I need ice? Am I making drinks? I wouldn't know. Oh, we need to do something about that. Okay, so I already did the restroom and the armory, and the kitchen. Uh, you're, you're alive. You're nothing. I. Oh! Pour ice in the capsule. The ice sizzles and quickly starts melting. The temperature slowly starts to fall, and as soon as you, it reaches an open, normal range, not an open range, you open the capsule. The man's eyes are still closed, but at least you saved him from suffocating in that heat. Should we leave him like this? Yeah, let him get a little fresh air. Take the flask. You remove the flask of glowing liquid and put it in your pocket, making sure the lid is on tight first. Thanks. Okay, good. I'm hoping that helps me get in the infirmary? Question mark? Uh... Oh, maybe the gun? The hiss, the flask of faith, settles deep into the cannon. The panel starts flashing almost immediately. Blue and green symbols form patterns and then fly apart, forming several rectangular buttons. Okay, what now? Try touching the words. What do we have to do with the book? Touch the message and say a prayer. Tell Dev to stop making the tracker video because people in the server have had it too good for too long. <laughs> ah, shit. Shots fired. Uh, three greenish blue rectangles are lit up in the weapon control panel. It's 
Don't you new one? Uh, I don't know. As you choose the second option, the screen goes black for a moment and a chart appears on it. This king then uses more than 20% of all the ship's energy. That's why we're going to turn it off. What's the number mean? Dolphins fired. Ah, it's really too believed. This weapon can destroy planets. The ship will run through your body. We should turn it off quickly. We need energy. Oh, okay, well, obviously deactivate them. As you choose the third option, you see a huge message that covers the whole screen. Prayer required. Okay, go ahead. Which one should I see? Hmm, it's hard to tell. I'll look for something about the weapon or energy. Uh, Prayers must be sung. How we are currently in a 453 day mourning period for Acolyte Rhymer. The mourning period includes a ban on singing. I see. Um. Sacrifice? If my hand or worthy prevents me from serving you, I will cut it off like a withered root. You hear a hiss and the control panel goes dark. The cannon has been deactivated. See, it wasn't so hard. <sighs> that could have gone poorly. Okay. Um. Available energy detected. I think we can unlock all the rooms now. The infirmary compartment is receiving the required amount of energy. Access granted. That looks like an electric chair. A medical chair stained with something red. Mm-hmm. That sounds wonderful. Uh, how about, no. Uh, plug in the tool. Okay, good. Wait. You're standing in front of a huge shelving unit. The control panel next to it is illuminated. The first thing you notice is three blue numbers in the middle of the screen. What was in the room? The laser blocking in the armory. Ah, uh, I, I'll, I'll get to that, I guess. Um, first number. I'll, I'll try everything. The inside is made up of neat square compartments with different types of bottles in each one. You pick up the closest one and read the old-fashioned paper tag, Dandelion Leaf. Take a listen, the space age. It's empty. How about we check the other compartments? Okay. Beep. On the shelf, you see a gilded box with an ornate inscription, Relics of the Great Martyr Rhymer. A melted audio reel is laying next to it. We'll take that too. Because you can, re ah, you can reconstitute them. Something, something written here, but it's hard to read. Sake, it, Uth? Sacred truth. It's not what the navigator was talking about to get the top floor. We need to restore this and listen to it as soon as we can. No oh, way, well, I don't think it's a good idea to touch sacred relics on a ship with a crazy head that shoots lasers. Fucking pull your hand away. Okay. Beep. Tell Dev, for the love of God, segregate his YouTube short pings from his other videos. Can ping two or three times a day with shit I've already seen long form and really obnoxious. Um. I'll try. Second, okay. I'll, 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 I'll bring it across. Dozens of mean looking metal syringes stare up at you from under their glass caps. They're each filled with a greenish liquid. The label on the inner wall reads Stabilizer. I don't know how to inject people. Lucky I'm a doctor. But actually, I guess you're not that lucky. I don't have hands here. Oh, you remembered something new about yourself. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Anyway, I'd feel more confident with some kind of spray or gel. Looks like you'll have to learn a new skill today. Fantastic. You carefully lift off one of the caps to take a syringe. It cools your skin, fits 
comfortably with your hand. Let's go back to the old man with the cat shoulder. Okay. Okay, we've done everything we need to do. Tell Dev to eat himself to death. <laughs> um. I don't know. It might be one of those cases where he does listen to me. Uh, uh, nope. Old woman. Uh, eh. Save the old man. Check him quickly. I've never done this before. I don't think the needle can pierce the capsule's glass. It's a catheter there to left on the panel. Stick the needle and push out the medicine. A shiver of relief runs through your body as the medicine disappears into the capsule. The old man's condition starts improving before your very eyes. Cross your arms over your chest and wait. The old man's convulsions gradually stop, his breathing evens out, and his fingers stop tearing his clothes. Hey, we saved his life. Yep, now we're gonna take the flesh and move on. All right, all right. We did well. That's all. <sighs> Alien sleep room? Oh, kind of. But, um, well, no. Uh, no, that's pretty odd because uh, a lot of them died. Hey, what is Dev doing in the other street recording videos? He's writing. He's writing. Well, I mean, he was sick. He was he he, <laughs> he was sick, and he is writing. But he was he, he has been sick, so because um, I mean, like Naomi and I were sick this past week. It's inevitable. You're gonna get sick. I also, I killed him. Okay, that part I made up. <laughs> Acolyte Rima proved his faith in the worthy and rose to heaven, but unfortunately is no longer with us. Great. Um, what else needs faith? Game with the name Bookwalker expected to get involved. Getting into the worlds of various story books. Uh, yes, it does. It's just not not books that... It's not, like, actual books. Well, here's the thing, Dragon Fat. You can, you can actually leave the book. I, I am outside the book. I, I'm an author that's been um, given a, a, a penalization for doing something I don't know what yet. But he's been penalized for doing something. He can't write, but all he can do is go into other books. And he can steal shit from the books and bring them out like um, like a valuable item for the highest bidder, essentially. I don't know. I think it's kind of a neat concept. You're like you go in and out of the books. And it goes from, you know, first person, just kind of fucking around in the apartment to actually being like an isometric scale being inside the book and, and, and trying to change the outcome. Um, let's see if I can actually get rid of that. Oh! Okay, the laser wall's gone. Shelf and trash your attention. Just be just something that's something valuable in there. I took the tax, it'll only take me 10 minutes. I'll do it to myself. Okay, we need a lockpick or something. Let me see. Examine a multi tool looking for something that will help you accidentally hit something that causes a red laser beam to shoot out from it. Whoa! What can you see? The lock of the container is melted open. How to do that? What the heck did I push? Try examining the multi tool from all sides, but you can't find anything that looks like a laser. Fine. I think the game's gonna do a bit of misdirection where you think he was penalized because he wrote something that pissed off a czar or something, but in reality he was penalized for doing something horrible like causing someone to commit suicide. 
I mean, it's a good guess. Another access card. Okay, that's helpful. Oh, shit. I'm in the library. I'm in the library. To activate the playback device, insert faith into the compartment on the panel, brother. Why does it all these faith? You really should understand by now that all the equipment here runs on it. Right. You must say a prayer. Speak your request to the worthy, brother. Voice? The worthy has heard your prayer, brother. You may activate the device. Thank you, oh worthy. Looks like we can use this machine to listen to all the reels recorded by members of the crew. Might be useful information on them. What wonderful technology. It's just an ordinary audio player. Wasn't there anything like that in your book? Uh, no, although, considering where we are now, I think it's a surprise, man. Um, okay. Short shovel my god. Warning, recording damage, unable to read. You need to fix it fast. I think you know how to do that. Oh, fuck, it's right. It's like, warning. The material we go to listen to is recorded on Earth and we consider this against our faith and our mission. Okay. <clears throat> in my attempt to analyze the influence of faith on our technology in light of recent events, I came upon an interesting detail. After all, behind all technology stands the Lent machine, which has proven 2% error rate. That means there's a 2% chance that the base algorithm that every machine, every computer is built on is capable of making a mistake or failing. The uncertainty and unpredictability that this fa f f effect imposes on seemingly faithful and reliable machines creates space for superstition. What if I pray and the mistake doesn't happen? What if I perform a ritual across my fingers and the mistake doesn't happen? Interesting. Hey, Drakus, have you heard of a game called Fear and Hunger? It's been getting relatively popular recently. Um, I, the name sounds familiar, but I have not played it. What the? What's that? Oh, I do have another reel. Melissa, you're trash. Thank you. I remember reading an article criticizing our mission even before we set off. He wrote about how the sword, which he blasphemously called a hunk of metal stuck in a stone, had the idea of dividing us into the worthy and unworthy. Gradually, people understood that chances of being found unworthy were extremely high, found ways to avoid the test, coming up with crazy and crazy excuses to keep from being un uh, stigmatized as unworthy. This hunk of metal which allegedly got stuck because of shifting stone slabs caused a general acceleration in the development of interplanetary travel, which it did eventually led to our departure. However, sometimes even I begin to wonder. Okay, so there's been questioning of it, just like with any kind of religion. Uh-huh. Okay, um, I should probably go downstairs and at least get some ink. Maybe trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, right, and I have to repair that one thing because I think it's like the sacred truth. There's only so many Jesus movies we can watch that are uh, blind. We got, we got lucky once. Maybe we'll get lucky again. Is this in the processing? Right, now we can listen to the player live. Okay, uh, let's see. Two bottles of ink. Great. I think. Two bottles of ink. Okay. 
was I doing? Uh, oh, right. So I have the... have the repaired, um, repaired reel. I think it was. Nope. Wait, yes. Yes. Good luck, Avalon. You hear an old man's weeks. Oh. You hear an old man's weak voice coming from the crackling speaker. How worthy, I pray to you. It's not your strength I desire. All right. But the responsibility that falls on one who is bold enough to raise a blade above themselves. The voice cuts out, and you hear the sound of the elevator opening and the navigator's voice from far off. Is this the sacred truth the navigator was talking about? If it is, we won't have to work here for five years. All right, let's go to the elevator. I think we'll be allowed up to the sword now. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the thing, the, the, the thing with the blade and the cutting and the stabbing. Good, that. <laughs> Almighty Jimmy. Like Almighty Jimmy from from American Idiot. <laughs> oh worthy, it is not your strength and desire, but your responsibility that falls on one who is bold enough to blade. Yeah. One who is bold enough to raise a blade among um, Oh Jesus Christ. Among us. Let me start from the beginning. O oh, worthy, it is not your strength and desire, but the responsibility that falls on one who is bold enough to raise a blade above themselves. That is indeed the sacred truth. It must be understood by those who decide to touch the sword be declared worthy. I am amazed that you were able to grasp it in such a short time. Well, I am prepared to uplift you. You're sure you're ready. Nothing left undone here. Shit. Uplift me. Aquatine Hunger Force. Oh, fuck. I haven't seen much of that. How often do people sing, These are the Daves I Know? Um, not often, but it has been sung, uh, generally by middle aged guys. Um, I guess it's like 60s. These are the Daves I Know, I Know. These are the Daves I Know. It's. Yeah. I'm not insulted by it. I actually think it's kind of funny. <laughs> the people they get along with very well. <laughs> um, this is called the Book Walker. It. This is only one of the books you go inside. Um, but this this is definitely very cyberpunk, uh, Arthurian legend uh, mix up. Definitely one of the better books that I've been in. The last one was really eh. <laughs> I did not make that woman do jello pudding. Acolyte Etienne. What now? He said we could touch the sword. That is true, but you have been given a more important task right now. Go to the navigator's cabin. First, can I just... You notice a panel sliding back on the wall to reveal a weapon hidden behind it. That looks familiar. I'm going, I'm going. This is definitely influenced by I Have No Mouth and But I'm a Scream. Uh, it's a, it was a, 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 Russian, a Russian team that's based in Finland. Um, Navigator? That thing is huge. What did you summon me? Well, besides to kill me, obviously. I need you to change the ship's course. Change it? Can't you do it but yourself? I do not have the authority. Only the crew members confirm the decision to go back. Go back? But what about the search from the worthy? 
Most of the crew has lost faith in our goal. Is it why you killed them? I simply made harsh decisions based on purely economical reasons to reserve food and oxygen for the more useful crew members. Listen, the only thing I'm interested in is the sword. I'll... I permit you to touch it if you confirm our course change. Alright, whatever. Fine, what do we need to do? Boss, confirm your bloodline by stating your ancestral code. Codes. Codes. Um, none of the characters ever say a code with text. Hold on. I forgot my code. If you do not remember your code, state the names of your ancestors and I will confirm the code from the database. Ah, uh, I, I, I don't. I mean the database. Then how did you get on the ship? If you are on the ship, you are part of the queue. You are part of the crew, rather. You are an acolyte. There can be no outsiders here. Anglerium? Not familiar. If you are part of the crew, you must have a lineage or else you would not have been accepted onto the crew. Can't that be an exception to your rules? There are no exceptions. The conclusion is simple. You are a member of the crew who refuses to confirm their lineage. That means you are in opposition to our mission. Which therefore means you must be eliminated. Well, I'd say that's not far from the truth. an easy fight. <laughs> RPG. I don't know. I find I find that, like, the fights are kind of they're kind of a joke. They're kind of easy. Look at this. I'm, I'm taking out the ads. No problem. And I can just easily go like this because whatever I do doesn't doesn't really cross over. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't cross over at all. Yeah, that was, that was extremely easy. Transistor with the comic style mixed in. I mean, this that's just one book, and this is probably the best one so far, to be honest. Sinner, the worthy will punish your soul. The navigator's core flares up from within. Sinner, 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 sin. The navigator's voice cuts out in the middle of the word. Suddenly, a siren starts sounding. Get to the soul now. He awakened the whole crew, and they'll be here soon. Reserve power activated. Total system reboot in three minutes. Hurry, Etienne. Okay, I'm just gonna run like. Warning, Senna on the upper deck. He's already back up. No time to waste thinking about that. Head for the sword. Oh fuck me, I'm so dead. <laughs> it's an actual sword. They'll break through any minute. 
The sword draws your full attention. The majestic hilt gleams in the light, and the sharp blade disappears in the thick stone. I'll try to use my hands to pull it out first. Right, maybe out of all the people in the world, you're actually the worthy. Lower your head, take a deep breath, and walk off in the stone. That was sarcasm! Find another way to get the sword out, quickly! Your hands feel like they're full with strength and lightning seems to flash inside you. You're wasting time. I am worthy! What are you mumbling over there? Can we use a laser or something to cut it out of the stone? I am worthy! Mm. Your legs leap you forward of their own accord. <laughs> your hand grabs the sword's hilt and it fits perfectly and it's your sword. All you have to do is pull it out and... Damn it! Your muscles burn, but the sword doesn't move an inch. Can we please find a laser? Something rises up in your soul. Despair? Yes, it seems to be despair. Come on, you health fiends! Get out of there! Come on! Ah! Anger and yelling are a perfect combination, but Excalibur doesn't care. It remains cold, mocking, and motionless. Bang! They're getting desperate. They'll blow up the whole ship. I pitch squeal from behind the door, dressed with the siren's wail. I remember they have an automatic chainsaw, diamond coated, on page 142. Now we really don't have time. Dim it all. Uh, I'm gonna fucking use a pickaxe. Are these the rag? The rag? The metal parts? Like, whatever. The pickaxe glean gleans, gleans. It gleans in your hands. You wind up and strike the edge of the stone. A big ragged chunk falls as a bullet crash. That's kind of unfair, but pretty efficient. I need to get that sword at any cost. Shouting behind the door gets louder. Does it feel all that tense? That's because they haven't actually come in. I have the feeling if I fucked up, they would have come in the room and had to fight them. That's why I had so many healing items. The sword lurches forward. You throw your pickaxe aside and manage to catch it the last second. There are still bits of stone in the blade, but all in all, Excalibur is free. Go fast. Seems like the stone got pretty worn out over the course of the journey. You try to raise Excalibur triumphantly, but it's too heavy. Besides, the saw's sharp teeth are tearing apart the thick steel door right before your very eyes. Time to get out of here. Time to get out of here. I think they're just hoping that the music is enough. Also, <laughs> it's not very impressive looking. This is good, like a very generic medieval, medieval broadsword. Still, the environment is really cool. Like, I, won't, I, won't, I won't begrudge on that. Yeah, it's a very first size chunk of stone, but um, not my problem. <laughs> Got the sword. They'll probably just chip it off. It's fine. Mm. <sighs> what now? Hello? It's Yen. You called. Did something happen? I called you? Yeah, I was away for the weekend, went out, came back, there were 15 missed calls on my machine. I figured something must have happened to you. Damn. Hey, I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. I apologize for bothering you. Don't worry about it. Well then, goodbye, I guess. Yes, goodbye. Alright. The all has been accepted. You may go. Um, there was no envelope. What envelope? You know the one with money inside you usually give me after? 
Last time you ruined an order that cost me 600,000 pounds sterling. How much? And you think I'm gonna pay you for that? Think of it as compensation for my losses. Hold on. You paid me a thousand per order, and that, that leaves you still leaves you with so much money. That's all I have to say. Ugh. Yeah, his boss is not exactly on the up and up. <laughs> his boss is definitely some kind of criminal. Been a tough day. Hmm. The wonderful day. Shit, two thirds done. Dead. Interrupt enemy action. I don't really care about the. Do I care about the. I kind of like the whole interrupting thing. Hello? There's a job. I'm ready. Anything else? No. What was at your door? Sure is strength today. It's easier to get a new one. So what the fuck are you about? Contractor agrees to infiltrate Timeless Mansion by Helena Roberti and extract an item, the Cursed Clock. The client agrees to pay the negotiated sum upon fulfillment of the contract. Fresh and original as always. Nowadays, there really aren't enough authors who are this original and can also release new books so fast. Okay. Something soft. Ahem. <clears throat> Maybe too soft. Ew. So, how did it go? I think successfully nibbling a skill about really redeeming the client's eyes. So now you'll get easier jobs, never more kill robots threatening us. I hope so. We're supposed to find the clock of some sort. I think Evangelion is just a, uh, it's just the, the creator wanking off. It would explain a lot. What? Hey, it's a cute place. Chad? You okay? Yes. What the? Oh God, oh God. A woman runs past without even glancing at you. I trapped him, I trapped the monster, run away. Monster. The jobs didn't get easier. Lock me inside. Well, I go, I guess. Damn girl, get back here and let me out. I'll find you and your friends too. Do you really think this cage will stop me? Is this the monster? Who are you? Dim. Etchan! You know him? Etchan! The man's eyes seem to burn through you. You look away, but not before noticing the man's hands are trembling with anger. 
I think we should get out of here quickly. Stop right there, you bastard! Answer me, would you, with Amanda? Where's my wife? Hold on, hold on. What does all this mean? Not now. I think we're finally gonna see why he got arrested. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. Why is that fellow in the basement know you? This book, I wrote it. What? What do you mean? I created this mention that I was arrested before I had a chance to finish the book. So how'd your client get this book then? Would the world have been stealing on from books on the market? I imagine the rights to it went to my publisher and they decided to have another right to finish it. So that's why the dreadful man in the basement knows you. You created him. Yes. But not like that. <sighs> it's the story of the generous aristocrat who lived in a beautiful mansion with his wife. Definitely wouldn't catch me writing about a murder in a blood soaked basement. Do you think that new author changed a lot? I think so, yes. Who's this Amanda you mentioned? She's uh, somewhere too. She's not here anymore. It's better we talk about that later. This clock wasn't meant to be here either. Take a look, since it's what we're here for. Oh, okay. See an ancient clock, steel frame around, it's covered in small inscriptions. Some are which are impossible to make out. There's nothing written now. The clock master's lifetime, something, something with the time of the clock itself. It's too bad stopped. Because we need to bring back a working clock. Chen? Yes, a working one. There's three huge holes in the mechanism. There are three gears missing. We'll have to search the whole mansion. Well, you should know your way around here pretty well, since you created all this. Are we at the end of the book? That's right. The plot has ended, and the heroine managed to lock the monster in the basement and escape. Nothing else happens in the plot after this. A happy ending. We need to go back to somewhere on page 150 or so. That's where the mansion will be in the best shape for us to search it. Even the staircase is in ruins right now. Uh, his head looks like an opening book because that's what happens when humans go into books in this world, apparently. I didn't know you can do that. Something going to jump between pages. Jumping is the easy part. The hard part is landing on the same spot in another page. If I miss or land end up between pages without my powers it could end badly we risk it fuck it why not i think it worked we're on page 120 now you more pleasant here don't you think jen you don't want to keep doing this do you no but i don't really have a choice do you think the client knew this was your book and sent you here on purpose i don't think he cares either way Help me! Help me! Let me out! Who's that? Another victim? Let's, let's go find out. Okay, I can't do anything there. Uh -huh. One day, Dave was playing basketball. I tried to shoot the ball, yelled out, Get Daved. Fell over his hip, broken. Will this is a point where can give actually my dead fall. <laughs> I'm not that fragile, Avalon, you fuck. Hmm. This is Dimension Master's study. It's so sparse. Apparently, whoever wrote, wrote your book didn't know much about creating pleasant sentiments. Hmm. I don't think it's all that bad. Oh. Oh. Yeah, his, um... They, they... 
kind of re they redesigned it between the original um, announcement trailer and and this in between like especially between the like the alpha level and, and uh, even in the demo uh, the look because <laughs> the original look was a little bit more I don't know kind of like um, punkish or like kind of emo looking I, it wasn't as fitting I think it was they're trying to make it look edgy and it just didn't work hey anybody hey Jonathan guys Jonathan! The voice is coming from behind those shelves. I hear it. That was a glitch out. Um, because... Okay, so Dev found a new bot called Botrix that incorporates every single chat, but unfortunately there are certain parameters that have to be set. Apparently okay is always just turns into pet. Like, I, I can read that because I know... Yeah, he's he's really excited about having this this many and this many uh, emoticons or, or, or whatever or emojis. Um, but this this is a, something that's going to take some ironing out. <laughs> Thankfully, I can understand what you're saying, but I understand if you're getting frustrated. How did you end up here? My brother and I look for something. Oh my god, Jonathan, still around here somewhere. Still hard him. Thank you. By the way, have you haven't any gears around here, have you? Big ones for a clock. Hmm, no, sorry. It's okay. Although we were searching the study upstairs, I found the secret part when the desk was empty. Well, what do you mean by searching? Uh, did I say searching it wasn't bespoke? Uh, I was there earlier, but didn't find anything. Did you check the false bar in the desk drawer? No. We should. Well, I think it's time to get out of here. I'll take care of your brother. Okie doke. All your characters, the same way they were written. Bad line there. No, I don't know her. Cell. The scratches of the floor and chains hanging on the walls make a frightening place even without. I wonder why a monster ends this time. I think we're better off not running into him. Look, he was ready to kill you right then. There and then. Do you think the new author made him like that? No, nothing's changed there. Oh. But he's not supposed to hurt the other characters. And this chains of him bothers me. So using the ink is going to hopefully change something. Yes. Uh, 
Oh god, I changed something. Yeah. I I I know I have one. Well we try, but I mean a lot of, a lot of times when we haven't finished games is because I've i I've just gotten too frustrated. Well, this isn't solely on one person's feet. Trust me. <laughs> God, Eagle Island. Yeah, I definitely finished that shit. Speaking of finished, uh, we were finished this part. Hopefully, I will be able to solve the mystery of the mansion in whatever the fuck this game is called. Fuck Walker. <laughs>